welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Pisces. Let's call in spirit with some more chat talk. It's like so quiet. Maybe you just have like a super chill couple of days coming your way, Pisces. Fingers crossed, right? All right. Um, I think we'll start with the fairy Lenormand being a little magical. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far, Pisces. It's been one of those like good days, but like really long. I wasn't really sure if I was going to have it in me to do some readings for you guys, but I miss you, so right, I'm going to have a Pisces. So the first card out is the house, so this can be obviously taken literally, but it can also represent like a foundation or um, like a family life. Oh, I like that. So we have happy home life basically is what I'm getting from this with the sun being added to this. The sun, of course, representing happiness and joy and all that stuff. I also really like that we have number four and then three plus one equals four. So you may be seeing 444 a lot or just the number 44. I feel like you may have two things coming your way. I feel like you may have something unexpected that positively impacts your finances as well as like maybe even a secret admirer or if you're in a relationship already this could signify that somebody wants to have something more serious with you Thirteen. One plus three equals four this is getting weird guys and then we have ten so we have, this is the child, and we have the scythe. Interesting. I kind of feel like there's somebody here who's making a decision in order to protect the innocence of someone or in order to protect a child. So there may be somebody who is making changes to their home, maybe moving or leaving behind a home to protect a child. Oops, I didn't mean to take another one. But it's funny because I was literally talking about leaving and here we have the boat. So I definitely feel like somebody is about to take a journey here. Could be somebody taking a journey to come see you, or are you taking a journey perhaps even with them? All right, my eyes went right to the OG, so we'll use the Rider Weight Deck from Pisces to get a little bit more clarification. What else do we have for Pisces? I'm like not wanting to fall up for you guys. Maybe I chose the wrong deck. Ah, there we go. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Six of Cups. So Pisces, we have somebody here, probably a masculine energy, but of course, remember in the tarot, gender doesn't really mean too much. Um, maybe they were just ahead of their ahead of their time when they designed it, but the tarot understands that there's divine, well, there's masculine and feminine within all of us, right? So this could be a woman, but with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, we have an energy that is perhaps materialistic or kind of like a user is what I'm getting. I feel like there's somebody who doesn't want to work that is getting kind of like treated to something based off of 
having a history with somebody, but it isn't going very well because there's something here about leaving this behind, right? Yeah, the hermit. I feel like somebody has been doing some reflecting. Whenever they have alone time, there's this thought that's just like pervasive, like it won't leave this person alone, that there's something they need to fix. So we have, I'm just going to bring this one out again. We have somebody, I feel like, who's looking back or reminiscing on times where they were happy in an unhappy home environment. So they're having a lot of chaos going on around them, but they're thinking back on a time where they were happy. And I feel like this is being clarified by the Six of Cups and the Hermit because of the way they flow. Um, to signify that this is somebody that you already know. This is somebody that did not treat you fairly. With the Hermit and the Seven of Pentacles, there's this energy of, I acknowledge that I am alone right now and a little bit remorseful because of what I have done. I brought myself to this particular situation and it's created distance between me and what would have made me happy or what did already make me happy. Like, This is unreal. So like basically we have somebody sitting here reminiscing, right? Look at how the hermit is looking at the, the past memories. The Six of Cups is like happy memories, right? It's the same thing. Somebody can't stop thinking about you, Pisces. I feel like they made a decision to move away from you for financial reason or ego or pride. Could have also just been a little bit of immaturity. We have the Knight of Wands kind of confirming that for me because the Knight of Wands would be somebody who has like flighty in and out kind of energy, right? This is somebody who would have preferred to do much of their conversing electronically because it would have given them an additional opportunity to wear a mask or it would have been an easier situation to manipulate than face to face. But I also feel like this masculine energy has realized it was this ego or pride, this inability to really dive in a hundred percent that put them in a lonely situation where they can only like think about the past they can't like they're not in contact with this person so if you're in contact with whoever you're trying to um, get a reading on this is probably not the one for you you can definitely check out my other readings um, but this is somebody who failed to choose you because they didn't want to be in love with you. They didn't see your love as the blessing that it actually was. They gave you the same that they gave others, which is to say either there were other people involved in the situation, they weren't, you know, looking to be in a committed relationship, or they just cut everyone off at that same point, right? Like, if 
emotional closeness where a game on Price is Right with the yodeler dude. Yodeler, ee <laughs> Like, there's the same point where the guy falls off the cliff. Just like, oh, feelings? Boop, gone. Never seen again. <laughs> But there's something here about over time, the signs or the inability to stop thinking about this situation has reminded this person how strongly they actually felt, or maybe even more so, yeah. They're enlightened. They see it now for what it was. They see themselves for who they were and why they did what they did. They felt like they would be happier alone. This could be somebody who has been let down by like literally everyone in their life, except for this one person. Sometimes we don't pursue the kind of relationship that is healthy. We can actually be quite terrified when we have that presented to us. Especially if you've grown up in an environment that really kind of promoted toxicity or discouraged open and honest discussions. Um, maybe there was just like a parent who really hated on love and said, you know, money, <laughs> that's where it's at kind of thing. Like, I just feel like this person is pretty accustomed to being cold and not really feeling like anyone would scratch that itch for them. So here we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. And I feel like this is actually talking about somebody having the ability to move forward or having the option to resolve the situation and then not. Yeah, we're still in the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, you can see on the card, it's not a very fun place to be. This is out in the cold, excluded, forgotten about. Oops. I wanted to put it in the reverse though. Hmm. I feel like that's because if it's clarifying the Knight of Wands, this person's about to take action because they don't want to be in the Five of Pentacles anymore. They could have finally realized or accepted that this is not something that they can just like shove down and forget about. It's like real. That was crazy because it was in the reverse when I looked at it and then like flipped so that it was in the upright down there. We have a page of swords being clarified by a page of pentacles. We have somebody here who acted too quickly, hastily. This is what I've been taught. This is what I'm used to. Whatever, I'm out. And then this person kept thinking about the one that they walked away from, maybe started checking out their social media more frequently or driving by their work. There's something here about watching this person and becoming more and more aware of the mistake that was made. And with the page of pentacles doing its little flip over here, sorry, I have here. <laughs> um, there's a change. Somebody is like going back and forth on do I make an offer or do I not? The world in reverse. I don't even know who I can attribute this to because I'm pretty sure it's pop culture, like a, a TV show or a movie that I heard, like, in and over, baby. <laughs> Just like real confident, like, you thought you could get away. Yeah, right. But I also feel like this is com confirmation of the somebody 
using social media to keep tabs on the person they walked away from. And this person is still hoping that they can finally make their decision because they want to choose this person they walked away from. The question is, literally their question is, does this person still love me? Does this person think I'm a fucking joke? Does this person have the capacity to trust me after I did what I did? So many questions. They feel blind. They don't they don't know if when they give you this offer, you're going to kiss them passionately or slap them across the fucking face. <laughs> hey, por que no los dos? <laughs> no, don't do that. I'm not advocating violence, but they're unsure to say the least. And I kind of get the impression but this is part of their karma because they left people in the Eight of Swords constantly. If you're watching, Mr. Eight of Swordser, did you think that was never going to come back on you? When you dish this out, this is what comes back to you and it may take a while to mature, like a, alone, but you're in this Eight of Swords is a reflection of where you left people who cared about you or wanted to emotionally connect to you. And now you're in this defensive position where you could have just chosen this person when it was easy, you know? And I feel like there's something here about trying to find the right time. I don't know why, but I just saw this sun card as like a sundial like I feel like somebody is trying to use numerology to determine the right time to talk to this person I have never said anything like that before that's not for everyone but that's weird <laughs> it's a thing I started off talking about numerology so we have the ace of pentacles here which is a beautiful card it's telling me that we have somebody here who is going to defend what they want and fight for what they want. They know that there's adversity. They know that there are other people perhaps that are interested in this person, but they want to make this offer and there's no longer stagnation. It's just this indecision, you know, like how am I going to find out what's going on. So now we have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is going to tell you, I'm ready to put in the work to show you that my offer of love is serious. I know that you've seen me operating in a pretty toxic or low vibe energy, but I'm letting go of that question is, can we trust this person? Are they just telling you they're letting go of this part of them because it's convenient? Or are they actually maturing and finding a way to actually do the love thing? All right, let's use the situations deck to get just a little bit more here for you, Pisces. Cleansing. So this masculine energy is working to remove the toxicity from his life before he comes forward. He feels closed in or trapped wherever he is as far as like the living situation. He may be like temporarily staying with a friend or a family member or still cohabitating with an ex. We have roller coaster, highest high. A 
I feel like this masculine is getting a bit of an adrenaline rush here. This is interesting. So there's definitely like that like anxiety level to it. There's the concern, the I don't want to look like an idiot. But there's also something about I've been looking the other way from something I really wanted to do for a long time. And now I'm actually going to like do it. So there's like this adrenaline rush is tied to finally doing that thing that you've been working so hard to not do. It's like your cheat day when you're on a diet. <laughs> so we have pretending in the reverse. This person is tired of having to pretend. There could be for a, I don't know, for some of you, there could be a child or a family that has pushed this masculine <laughs> to stay in a relationship he wasn't happy in, baby chopping. Okay, well that's cool. Um, so probably for more of you than just some, there was an effort to keep this masculine in an unhappy home with a baby. Because this person they were with obviously wanted to like prevent them from leaving but is also really focused on the way they appear to other individuals <laughs> searching online so this is on the same column as the page of swords which is like the spying card I feel like both these individuals are looking you up, Pisces. Assuming you're the, the feminine that this masculine is thinking about, you could of course be one of the other players here too, but I feel like the soon-to-be ex or the recently titled ex is trying to figure out if you're with this person. And the masculine's trying to figure out if you're single. We have Love Affair coming out to clarify cleansing. It feels to me like somebody has acknowledged that their relationship with this person was definitely toxic and perhaps based in sex or what they could get from each other. They didn't let a lot of people into the reality of their situation. Triggers. I just got something pretty sad. I feel like for some of these masculines, there's a common thread between a motherly figure and a baby mama or ex, which is to say abusive emotionally or possibly even physically and manipulative. And I feel like this feminine that he was trying to get away from knows these buttons to push and pushes them liberally. I don't like that at all. And it's made this masculine kind of revert back to some of the issues or mentalities he had as a child in an abusive situation. If you resonate with that, I'm so sorry you went through that and that you're going through that. We have recalling. So this is good and bad, right? This is confirming what I just said in terms of triggers bringing this person back to a stressful time in their life where they were treated like this by someone else, probably a parent, it doesn't have to be. And it's also a clarifying roller coaster. So there's also something here about the memories of the person they miss kind of balancing out 
the negative, right? Almost like an escape. Like I'm dealing with so much stress in my home environment. All I want to do is be able to like leave all of this bullshit behind and daydream. Interlude. It's like this person has photos or videos of you that can help them escape. Like it's a different world. I mean, that's why we read books and watch movies, right? Not necessarily specifically like, I hate my life. I gotta do something different. But like, it is an escape. It's a peek into a different existence, right? I feel like this person is doing something like that. Avoiding the harsh reality of their situation by living in memories with this person. <laughs> I feel like I just want to give this person a hug. They can't escape these feelings. So, because we have projected clarifying searching, I also feel like somebody here is trying to figure out your future. This could be the soon-to-be ex or a very recent ex. Somebody could be using tarot to try to figure out your next moves or if things have happened yet. I'm going to clarify one more time. This is with the Gypsy Oracle. I love these cards. They're like kind of old school in my opinion. Well, no, not just my opinion. They are. Um, and if this is resonating for you, go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe. Right, what else do you have for Pisces? What do we need to know? Falseness. So this is referring to a masculine not being honest as well as their partner or previous, like their past partner. I feel like they found out this person was like fucking lying about a lot. Like this is somebody who could be like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm single. And like, they're still fucking married to Joe Schmo down in fucking Alabama or some shit. Which isn't to say I don't love Alabama. <laughs> We have service. Someone could be in the military or law enforcement or some kind of social service role. But they might abuse it. just like red patch on dude's arm that looks like it wasn't screen printed correctly. Kind of makes me feel like it's like a little too World War II-y. I also feel like this is commenting on the feminine in the relationship or coming out of the relationship using tactics that make it seem like she's trying to do something kind but really she's about to fucking like knock you the fuck out like yeah i'll give you a ride back just drink this chloroform real quick <laughs> or smell it whatever it is consolation this masculine energy is somehow getting peace or serenity or healing or support from this feminine even though i'm pretty fucking confident they're not talking so this could be like that daydreamy vibe or because they're watching maybe they're seeing something inspirational for this person like maybe they're seeing that the person that they care about is doing something important to them and it makes this masculine feel like i need to be 
doing something more with my life. I can't just do this all the time, whatever this is. We have pleasure seekers and doctor. I feel like there's a circle of immature friends around this masculine and it irritates him. Like, I get the impression these are people that felt like appropriate choices for friends years ago or even maybe last year. And as this masculine has kind of like matured emotionally, he's realized how much these friends like hold him back or maybe like even purposefully hold him back. There's like a false concern. Like they don't actually care about this dude. They're just looking to ride his coattails. And I feel like there was something here pertaining to, not for all of you, but pertaining to a fake pregnancy or somebody getting pregnant by yet another party. So like not the masculine in this reading, but another masculine and pretending that it's this masculine in the readings. Ugh. <laughs> Heavy. Because I feel like this doctor's fake. Someone could have like doctored a ultrasound photo or a pregnancy test. So we have constancy. This is spirit saying, Pisces, we really need you to stay even keel and keep doing what you've already been doing. And if I had to guess, that's putting your self-love first, doing things like investing in hobbies or your career and cutting out the people that don't deserve to be in your life, the people who have disrespected you, the people who don't apologize and then change their behavior. They just think the words are enough. The only number that isn't a four up here is the 10, and that's about completion, the end of a cycle. There's something here that isn't over that a lot of other people think is over, but as far as like putting up with like the devil kind of energy, that I feel is like what's been cut out, right? And somebody, possibly even both of these people who would like to come back together, they're, they're thinking about where can I find this stability so that I can be happy and it won't be such a, you know, unpredictable situation. So I hope you enjoyed your reading Pisces. Thank you so much for all the support and have a wonderful rest of your day.